Hi Pi people, it's the average man here. Uh, I've just bought myself a new motor controller, so uh, I don't normally do videos, I don't do very good videos, uh, but I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing to show you what comes inside. Um, I'll point out the features that I know, but I don't know a lot about this yet, I've, I need to work out how it works. Um, this is for my Pi Wars 2015 robots, I'm in the competition. Um, I've just bought that, and you'll see more about that on my blog, so that's averageman versus Um So far we've got something that looks a little bit like this, uh, getting there, but obviously it's just a chassis at the moment. So we've got this, and we've got a Raja Pi as well, and we've also got some batteries. So this was the next step. So this was delivered yesterday, so I thought, hey, I might as well show you guys what's in the box. So let's open it up. I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know what's inside. I've got an idea because I bought it, but let's see. Okay, so this is the iBoost 64 part. I know that much. What does it do? I'll tell you later on. Uh, right, what else have we got? Okay, so we've got some... Some, uh, looks like a bit of a standoff, bit of a spacer. Okay, and okay, so that's everything in the box. That's the box there. On the back of it, it's got your links of getting started. It kind of gives you a rough idea what it is. So it's got switching regulators, which are more efficient than linear regulators. Don't ask me why. I'm sure there's someone on YouTube that will tell you that. Um, it has got dual bi directional motor drivers. As far as I know, it controls two motors. That's good enough for me. Um, eight level shifted I/O signals great that's that's good and ultrasonic sensor interface good so i can add my um, sro4 ultrasonic sensor quite easily let's close that and make it tidy there we go that's nice right okay um let's leave the smaller parts over here because they're not as fun as the big bit so let's open this up so this is from fortronics um it was 17 let me just check the website i paid 17 17.90 something call it 18 pounds um, there's loads of different motor controllers out there and it's kind of a nice scene because everyone does a little bit so it's something different so depending on what you want um, there's something out there for you so why did I choose this one let's start there A it was going to go straight on top of my Raja Pi via the GPIO that makes it nice and tidy no wires no USB cables none of that um, also it has a like I mentioned a switching regulator so uh, down here so you'll, you'll plug in um, something like I'm going to use a 7.2 volt battery from RS so I just had those delivered today as well here they are so 7.2 volts 2000 mAh um, got four of them won't last me the whole day so I'll see how they go I'll do some testing on that but you'll, you'll pump your 7.2 volts in here It'll do a really efficient um, regulation of that but again I need to learn how these things work and I'll share that with you on my blog um, so that will power the Pi and it powers it through the GPIO so you don't need to start plugging things in to the micro USB cable it's going to be all nice and on one board okay that's one part of it um, it controls two motors so that's an obvious feature that most boards will give you so there's the two um, what do you call them screw terminals for the motors there and your power will go in there as well and it can take quite a lot of juice I'm, again I'm going to use another one of these batteries so I'm going to have two of these on my robot not too sure where yet no maybe in there not sure we'll find out um what else so um somewhere on here i think it's here um this is for the uh, kind of like an sro4 ultrasonic sensor um so that's handy that's all ready to go um the good thing about fortronics is they they really well document their their boards and their products and they do a lot of kind of example code as well so for people like me i haven't i haven't got a clue about this stuff um I'm entered a competition as a bit of a let's see what an average man can do with robotics um, so we'll see but I'm gonna be as I learn about this board and understand all its features I'll share those with you and kind of learn together even though it sounds very cheesy um, over here these are I believe these are the GPO or is it here one of them um, the GPO are broken out so there's eight of them and they're, they're level level switched or something so we'll, again we'll find out what that is I'm not too sure yet you've got whichever way around SPI Output inputs, I2C on one side as well. Again, still not sure. Um, what else have we got? I'm sure there was something else. Let me have a look. Got the ultrasonic sensor, SPI's on there, I2C's on there. Oh, expansion balls. So you've got these two guys here. So these use I2C connections, and Fortronics actually make expansion balls for these. You can get a 16 channel PWM. Um, we can get like an analog ADC kind of expansion board as well. I think they do some others like a little seven digit, seven segment display on there as well. So that's that part. Then you've got this thing. This is called the iBoost 64. Now, I don't know what that is. I know it's something to do with 
if you want to hmm, I think if you want to add analog or like sensors it keeps the it keeps it up to five volts it's something to do with improving how sensors work the kind of things you're going to add to your robot again I don't confess to be the, the best at this at all and I am learning as I go I just really want to do a kind of off the cuff call it a live unboxing so that's there and I've got a bit of space here I imagine that is for this part here for when it goes through your board so that's that so like I say I've got that I've got four of these big batteries thank you RS um, I'm going to be using Model A, so um, you'll all know Raspi TV, Raspi.tv, the blog by Alex Eames. He did a bit of a power um, comparison uh, between different Raspberry Pis. I was originally going to use a Model B, but actually it turns out Model A would be fine for a robot and actually use a lot less power. So that's handy. Thank you, Alex. So that's that, and it's all going to be going here, like I say. So, so far I've added um, a couple of micro metal motors. I've just made a chassis out of some spaces and a bit of wood. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty tidy. Got some um, Pololu or Pololu, not sure how you say it. Got some uh, tracks there. I think they're the 30 teeth ones I've got on there. Um, and I've got loads of other stuff planned as well. I even dug out my old remote control car the other day and, and found some batteries there. But you know what? They're not looking too good. So I think I'll, I think I'll give them to the little uh, Asda battery recycling pot on the weekend. So there you go, guys. Just a quick look at that board. What I'll do is I'll probably try and do another video later on. Once this is on here and working and on my chassis, I'll explain all the features and how I'm going to use them. For now, that is an average man's introduction to the Pyrocon. Um, if you want to find out more, I'm going to be doing a dev blog on my robot. So that's average man versus raspberrypi.com. And just look for the tag for Pi Wars. I'm going to do a dev blog every week or so, tell you what I'm doing with my robot. Up until 5th of December, that's when Pi Wars is being held in Cambridge. Um, my aim is to not come last in at least one challenge. And I'll be happy with that and I'll earn myself a beer on the way home. Okay guys, till next time, this is Average Man, see you later.